Hey guys, how is it going? Welcome back to another video. Alright guys, so we have finally the Beast Boy, the new legendary character in our roster. Uh, and I think, uh, you know, we will have the chase by today, the night uh, in the store where we can go and open it. And we can buy uh, the shards or we can buy the character for Beast Boy. Alright guys, so the overall look is, uh, yeah, it's okay because he's green in color. And uh, that's what we can see over here. And uh, yeah, the most important thing, apart from the looks, looks are not that important, you know. Uh, what is more important are the passives and how this guy will work. So let's go ahead. All right, guys. So the passive number one, sharp talents. All right. After a successful special, apply wounded for five seconds. So that's just for five seconds. Maybe this will increase the timer will will increase uh, as we you know. If, uh, upgrade the passive from level 1 to level 5, 6, 7 maybe. If we can get it to level 7, it's great. If not, then maybe it will be just there till level 5. Alright, so a Wounded is basically one of those uh, things that you will apply on the opponents if you use a special attack on them for 5 seconds. And if the opponent is Wounded, Beast Boy's attack stat is applied as damage on 50% of Beast Boy's attack stat is applied as damage on basic or swipe attacks from Beast Boy's team or the affected opponent or the affected opponent. All right. So the damage on basic and swipe attacks from Beast Boy's team or the affected opponent will be applied as 50%. All right. So the summary says is that Beast Boy's successful special will apply wounded as a debuff. Uh, and wounded characters will take, take additional damage from basic swipe attacks from Beast Boy's team or the affected opponent. So either it will be the Beast Boy's team or it will be the opponent which is affected from wounded. This is a bit confusing because you know you you need to be very specific. Either will it be or Beast Boy or that that's very confusing. Maybe maybe it will be the one who is having greater attack stat will be uh, taken, you know, and will be applied as additional damage. Now moving on to passive number two. Monkey from form against wounded opponents, defense reduction stacks can be applied over the cap uh, up to five stacks. So the monkey's form against wounded opponents, the defense reduction stacks will be applied uh, and the cap will be for five stacks. Bear form against wounded opponents, increase stun duration by 20%. All right, this is nice. Increase chance to affect raid bosses by 15%, by 50%. That is the bear form. And now the tiger form, uh, when used against the wounded opponents, increase DOT damage from specials by 200%. All right. So this is nice. The first one is not, uh, I mean, it is good because we reduce the defense uh, and the stack will be there for the five times. And this one will be also handy when we fight against uh, bosses that are immune to stun and freeze. Uh, tiger form will obviously increase the DOT damage by 200% from the specials. Okay, now uh, this is what we just read. Martial arts, martial arts, that's what it is. On successful special, 20% chance to recover its power. This is actually really nice. You know, I don't think we have, I, we do have this on Crown of Kandak, uh, but it was not a successful special. It was, uh, I think, uh, you know, when we have a combo meter higher than a certain point, then we used to get the power back. Now over here, it's just a successful special which will give us 20% chance to give us the power back. While performing a special, 20% chance to not lose his combo. So this is again one of those things which we already have in some of our characters like Multiverse, Batwoman, CW Superman as well. All right, so the first two passives are very important. The third one is also important but not as compared to you know, the first two. Okay, monkey form, blind for 3 seconds, opponents plus 5% defense reduction, stacks up to 4 times. So this will also come in handy against the high, high defense opponents. Plus there is blind as well. This is the bear form. Uh, the bear form is done for 2 seconds, 25% chance to affect raid bosses. Okay, now this one will unlock at uh, 3 stars. All right, Beast Boy's team does not lose their combo when performing specials for 30 seconds. And we need to do a super move for that, I guess. Beast Boy uses all his powers and transforms into 
multiple animals to finish off his opponent. The super move will be worth watching because it's mentioned that he will be converting into multiple animals. I would say bear, tiger and monkey are the three uh, animals that we see over here. And this one's unlocked, unfortunately, uh, you know. Uh, but yeah, overall, on paper, he looks good, uh, you know, in, in uh, the game. Uh, but that's what we said about Scorpion when we had him, you know, previously. And then he turned out that he was, he turned out not that good. So uh, yeah, it's just uh, on paper, he looks good. So mostly the damage that we will do, uh, there is like a step-by-step -step process. We need to apply successful special to wound the opponent. It will last for a few seconds. Uh, and then that uh, wounded opponent will get some extra damage, 50% from Beast Boy's attack or the opponent's attack, uh, or the affected opponent, and uh, and it will give you additional damage on the swipe, basic and swipe attacks. Plus, there are different forms as well for Beast Boy, monkey form, bear form, tiger form, which does different things like reducing defense and increasing the stun duration and increasing the DOT damage from specials. By 200%. So this is something uh, that may be used, uh, you know, with uh, you know when he's teamed up with other characters like Scorpion himself. Uh, you know, he can be used over there. Maybe some other characters too, where there is uh, DOT on specials. And then at the end, martial arts. So there is like a a 20% chance to recover the spent power bars, and a 20% chance to not lose the combo meter. Alright guys, so overall he looks okay, he looks good, he looks decent, but it's just a matter of time, uh, he will come out, and uh, yeah, you know, do let me know your thoughts about Beast Boy, and uh, how you think he should be. Now, overall, I would say, I, I wouldn't really rate him right away, because we yet have to see his exact gameplay, how it works, uh, because usually when there is a new character introduced, he is uh, introduced uh, or with a lot of bugs, you know, and... Uh, so the same thing happened with the Scorpion. I don't know if uh, uh, the uh, Beast Boy will follow the same thing. Uh, I mean, Scorpion looked great, but eventually he turned out not that great. Let's hope that it doesn't happen the same thing with uh, Beast Boy. You know, I hope that he's uh, he's better than before. Maybe we'll have a Teen Titans team as well. You know, we got the Raven at already. We got Beast Boy now. Uh, we already have Cyborg. Uh, you know, we already have uh, Raven as well. So let's see, uh, let's see how things turn out. And uh, yeah, if we do get a Teen Titans team, that would be insane. That would really be insane. All right, guys, so do let me know your thoughts about Beast Boy. And uh, yeah, I guess that's about it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, give it a like and let's meet again in the next video. Until then, guys, have a great day. Take care and have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.